What is going on everybody and welcome back into Call of the Wild where today we are going gator hunting. Now obviously the gators are the brand new species that came along with the Mississippi Acres map. So today we are going to go ahead and move around the map in some of the hotspots that I'm aware of and see what we can find. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to reset our time. Now we want to be hunting ideally from around 8.30 in the morning and then we are going to want to go until about 11 o'clock okay. This is going to be the gators resting zone and that is going to give us our best opportunity to go ahead and find them. So let's go ahead here and reset them down to around 8.30. Now it says here that we are on 08. So I'm going to go ahead and reset to 9 o'clock. It'll give us plenty of time to go on ahead and move up through some of the resting zones and see which gators we can find that are taking that rest up on the shore. So let's go ahead and have a look around and see what we can find. Alrighty, and then first on the day, we are going to be going across a level 6 gator here that is calm. We're really just having a little bit of a float on through the water here. Now for anyone out there that's questioning how you take out the gators it's a really bad idea to try and take them out in the water uh, because often what's going to happen is either you're not going to hit them quite right and they're going to go down to the bottom and uh, maybe not resurface or the other thing could be that actually maybe you do hit a decent kill and um, the gator instead of floating along the surface towards you will actually sink and you won't be able to confirm the trophy so uh, it's often quite better of an idea if you do happen to spot them in the water to sort of like crouch on down don't spook them and sort of see where they go because they'll always be making their way to land if you do ever see them in the water and they are calm now as it's only a level six i don't really care to shoot it but i wanted to give that one as a bit of an opportunity to explain to you guys how to hunt them so you want to find them when they are uh, resting up on the ri uh, the river or lake bank versus when they are in the water because if you go for them when they're in the water there's a high amount of uh, chance that you're going to actually lose that trophy because they'll go under the water like that one has done there and it looks like off in the distance we have ourselves a level five piebald now i've been taking a bit of a closer look at this one we'll make our way on in here we'll get the m1 in our hand and we will try and get a decent shot off on this one so it doesn't run away from us and we can actually secure this kill that'll be pretty awesome and then i was just having a quick look out here following a call and it seems like we have two jesus gators so uh we've got to be careful of these guys out here because if we spook them too much what can happen is they can actually go under the water so deep that they actually die while they're under there and won't come back to the surface now this one here is a warning call from the gator now is it spooked and it will go back down to its resting spot but we do run the risk of actually spooking this one off so we've got to be very careful moving on in i'm having more and more difficult Difficulties going ahead and getting a spot on this gator uh, for whatever reason I'm not too sure why it is and then we'll move on in here and we'll take the shot real quick to try and make sure that it doesn't run off Meanwhile this gator right here is just like oh hey Andy what's up good to see you bro been a while hope you're doing well like hello there But yeah this gator over here oh it is slightly moving it is slightly moving and I don't know where it's moving to Game please let me spot the gator oh we're gonna have to go for a blind shot we are going to have to go for a blind shot. Oh, I don't know if we got it or not. I really don't know if we got it or not. It looks like it's gone down. <gasps> Did we get it? Oh my goodness. I think that was the best panic shot that I've ever taken. If we'll look at this right here. So there we go. A level five piebald male. See, how do we go here with a shot? Look at that. Flesh, upper neck, skull, hit the vital organ. That is the perfect shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. A beautiful level five male piebald. I can't believe that we managed to get it. That's really awesome. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've moved on up over here to Gator Lakes. We sort of went right the way down from where we found the uh, the piebald and we carried on going until we got to the outpost. And straight away, we can see there's a level six. So we're going to go ahead and move on around here. A lovely level seven there and we'll see if we can find anything else. If not, I'll make my way around for these level six and sevens to come in and we'll take them on and uh, see if we can get any more cool trophies. So I was just like scanning across. So one of the easiest ways that I find of uh, spotting the gators, if you just do this, so I can't see anything there. But yeah, if you just hold E or the uh, the controller equipment, just sort of scan along the horizon, you'll often pick them up in the water like that or you'll pick them up on the bank off in the distance. And I was just coming along here. I saw the seven there. I saw another one. I think it was a six just next to it. And I carried on going and I carried on going and we <laughs> kept on making our way around. And then I spotted the nine legendary. Now, obviously, it's pretty much under the water. So there's no way I could actually see it. But we just spotted that one out of nowhere. <laughs> it was so random. There was actually some deer uh, just off to the side of it as well. So I thought it was a deer in the water. But uh turns out we've got a nine legendary. Now, I think that that can make a diamond. So we're going to go ahead and make our way in here and see if we can secure that beautiful diamond. And then we'll have two two beautiful trophies to go ahead and show up in our lodge. Now, I've been watching him for a little while, trying to get him into a good position, and this, I think, is going to be the best position out of any to try and go for the shot. It's still risky, but... 
I do believe with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually just gone ahead and secured ourselves a beautiful diamond gator. I mean, that one straight down. There was no questioning about that one at all. That was a clean neck shot and boom, down it goes. So let's keep on moving here. Let's go ahead and pick it up and let's get that beauty in our trophy lodge. Wow, that was nerve wracking. You see, I do this sometimes when I go ahead and I take the shot and even I'm surprised that I clicked the button, but there we go. We did it. Okay, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The moment that we are waiting for, is this going to to be a beautiful diamond. Oh, it is. And look at that right there. We couldn't have asked for a much better shot, could we? Right there in the neck, keeping all of those integral points for the trophy. Wow, look at that then. Absolute beauty. 530 kilos as well. Let's go ahead and taxidermize this bad boy into our lodge. 7,500 right there. Money well spent in my opinion. All right, now we ran around for about another 25 to 30 minutes and we weren't able to find anything rare or even a big gator. So I decided what we would do to finish off the video is that we would go ahead and put them up in our trophy lodge. So let's go ahead and place down the first off this beautiful albino right here. Look at that right there. What an absolute beauty. The eyes are the thing that gets me the most, you know, looking at them steely eyes right there. Beautiful. And of course, you can see the piebald fur variant running right down it. And then we also have, of course, the beautiful diamond that we went ahead and got. So let's go ahead and place that one on down right here as well. So there we go. We'll go ahead and place this one down. Now look at this bad boy right here as well. So an absolutely beautiful diamond and an absolutely incredible pie board. I'm really happy with this hunt, guys. I hope that you are as well. If you are, please do go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe if you are new around here for more Call of the Wild and farming sim content. But until next time, guys, enjoy the hunt out there. Thank you for watching. Peace.